On Tuesday, February 27th, Governor Andy Bashir made his way through eastern Kentucky and stopped at the Knott County Sportsplex to award grant money to those affected by the 2022 floods. Some of the money will go towards providing water and septic services for Chestnut Ridge, a new high ground housing site near the Sportsplex. Mountaintop News caught up with Bashir to hear more. Today we're at the Sportsplex first giving an update on Chestnut Ridge, the high ground site that is right here next to the Sportsplex that we're in. We're going to have hundreds of homes on that. Uh, the good news is we're about to let the road and we're going to see a lot of work moving forward. Uh, to aid in that, we had some money for water and sewer today that will help both this area and the county in general, as well as some money for tourism uh, and for some of the, the businesses that operate in tourism in the area. Uh, our goal has to be more than to just rebuild homes. It's got to be to rebuild lives and to revitalize the area. And that's what today's checks were for. And the last one was for the Artisan Center that's teaching skills to, to those in recovery that have gone through treatment. And, and it's so important with so many people who've fallen into addiction to make sure that we're giving them every single bit of help that's needed. And we know when you can give somebody the skills for that next job, they stay in recovery at a much higher rate. And these are our friends and our family members and our neighbors. And we wanna make sure we don't lose one more of them. Find love in every connection at Appalachian Wireless. Even if you want to connect with no credit check, no contracts, and most features of postpaid. Talking about forward pay. This month, get $50 off select prepaid devices. It's forward pay because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. The money will go toward improving the community as a whole. Groups such as the Appalachian Artisan Center and Knott County Tourism will greatly benefit. Certainly on the recovery side, it was to the Artisan Center that runs all these programs. So those that are coming through recovery, uh, gets them their skills and then teaches classes to, to many more. Uh, you look at, at the water and sewer money and the road money, and that's to make sure our kids get to school safely, uh, that clean drinking water comes to houses that have never had it. I mean, clean drinking water is a basic human right, and continuing to push to get it everywhere, especially here in Eastern Kentucky, is a pretty special thing, but it's something we should have accomplished a long time ago. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.